Performing murder in a puppet show assignment. That is what students say a Hayes CISD substitute teacher made them do in class. Now the district says that sub is suspended and under investigation. KXAN Sarah Alche spoke with a parent shaken up by this who says her child was in that theater class. I am floored. I am angry. I'm shocked. A theater class ending with a Hayes CISD substitute teacher suspended. There was killing involved. There was dying involved with these puppets. Some kind of puppet reenactment. The alleged incident happened here at Mo and Jean Johnson High School in Buda. She was not okay with that. She was upset. A parent who asked us to conceal their identity says their daughter was in that class. She called me um, telling me that their theater teacher was telling them that they were going to have to reenact a violent school shooting where they had to actually pretend to die. You don't have students, you know, 16, 17 year old students reenact something that they're truly afraid of. Allegedly, the teacher told students if they didn't do it, they would get a zero for the assignment. They did it one time. He said it wasn't violent enough, quote, and made them do it again. In a statement sent to KXAN, Hey CISD says, quote, students report that the substitute assigned them to perform a puppet show in which at least one puppet had to be murdered. Additionally, one group of students reports that their performance would have involved a mass shooting, though it is not clear if that was the specific assignment or a scene created to meet the parameters of the assignment. The district says if this happened, this type of performance would be disturbing and unacceptable. Based on the investigation, Hay CISD says the sub could be asked not to return to its schools. The district could also possibly make reports and referrals to law enforcement and the Texas Education Agency Educator Misconduct Portal. It's not a game. It's not a puppet show. It's not something to be taken lightly. This parent ultimately grateful for how the district responded. They assured me that they were not okay with this as well, that they didn't agree with it. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. Hey, CISD says it hired that substitute teacher in January of 2024. So in addition to the investigation of today's incident, the district says it will also review other potential classroom concerns. We started digging into this story after a KXAN viewer tip. You can do the same. Just scan your phone over this QR code. It will take you to our reported section where you can share your tips or video, even photos. You can also email us at reported at KXAN.com.